So there's no more game to play? Alright. <laughs> I hate this game. I'm glad it's over. Oh, fine. Yeah. Hey folks, uh, I'm Mr. JJ. I'm Bobo the Vulture. Now I said, uh, I guess it, it'll be uh, the video before last now, that the next video is going to be the final video, so that wasn't quite right, because I didn't remember we'd get this chance yes. to split things. But Although, it's beautiful, we're going to have a co one video that's nothing but the ending scene, so I hope yes. you'll enjoy. Before we get into it, I was just thinking, um, yes. my favorite, one of my, probably my favorite video game ending of all time, uh, or one of them anyway, was Final Fantasy X. And don't stop. <laughs> yeah, I mean that was like no, actually, I was seriously like, like that's a pretty badass way to go out. Actually, it's like, <laughs> it's like, dude, you even like no, like I, I, like nope. no, I've come to know you over this time. I can't send you away. It's like seriously, I, I'm, 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 I'm a soul trapped in this world. <laughs> I need I'm to, done. Yeah, <laughs> but uh. Yeah, no, that was a really good ending. I think this game has a really good ending, too. So I was kind of matching them up in my head, and I realized I got a lot of compliments at the end of the Final Fantasy GX LP, which I was very happy about. Mm -hmm. People told me it was, like, their favorite LP. Because it was a very complete LP of that game. I'm looking back on this now, my big regret. We did a couple of really cool things. We got the non-lethal kill on all the bosses, which sure. is a little bit of a bonus thing. It's not that tough, but it's, you know... Yeah, we didn't get a no kill clear, or anything. you certainly didn't do a big boss speed run or anything like yeah. that. But I don't know how you do. I feel a like big that wouldn't be that entertaining. I mean, it would be entertaining to watch from like a oh like, like analytical point of view. Like oh wow, yeah, Metal Metal Gear heads, I guess if there's whatever the term is for the big time Metal Gear fans, yeah. they'll post their their big boss extreme yeah, playthroughs, and it's, it's a different it's a different sort of, thing. It's yeah. a whole different. Experience. It's like watching a speed run. Like you're yeah. interest, it's interesting to look at, but at the same time, you're like. I feel like there's no time that you're actually yeah. taking to enjoy this game. You're just right, like, right. Yeah. But um, it's I. But I was the sad thing is I'm comparing them. Is like my Final Fantasy X Let's Play, available now on my channel, was very complete. There was there was very few things in the game that I didn't show. I mm -hmm. think there's a couple of cinematics that I could have because there's there's places where you can take branching paths, and I would have had to play through the entire game twice to show, like a little two and a half minute cinematic. And I didn't do that. Yeah. But pretty much everything else, uh, often through save states, which I couldn't do on this because I'm playing on a console, I was able to show a lot of different stuff. And this one, I'm like, Jesus. I'm looking at it, I'm like, I'm, we missed like three fucking camos. There are <laughs> three Lord camos we missed. Face we missed the snow camo. Yeah. We missed the snow camo. We missed the, the uh, sneaking suit. Off, yeah, the oh, engineer. Uh, yeah, I think we I missed gotcha. a bunch of face paints. We probably missed another camo somewhere that I'm not even... I was like, oh man, we missed so much Which shit. the thing is, now, like... like Final Fantasy X, you're saying, was your favorite uh, ending, probably, yeah. and this is like a number two. Final Fantasy X is probably also your favorite game, isn't it? It's pretty high on the list. Uh, Gameplay-wise, it's actually a brutally dull game with not a lot of gameplay variety, but I really like the story. I'm a sucker for the story. I like the story on this game, too. Yeah. This is probably Where one of my... this rank, I would think, yeah. It's pretty high up. Well, I mean, it's it, this game has probably the least crazy story out of the Metal Gear games. Yeah. Uh, there's say, still there's still revela there are still revelations to come in the end. Of course, yeah. there are certain things that haven't been explained that will be explained. Other things were probably always going to be left kind of ambiguous. So I don't want to yeah. I don't want to talk too much about it. Spoiler, especially because we'll get a chance to talk about it yeah. after the end. Like if I sat down and like practiced this and played it some, it would probably be like I I don't have enough of a solid impression of the game. But we've played through it once now. Yeah, I would rank it pretty high. I mean, Metal Gear Solid in terms of the Metal Gear. Games. The first one is still probably my well, favorite. Well, Metal Gear lot. Solid. I mean, I don't know how much detail in the stories I can go without embarrassing one of us or the other, but <laughs> I believe the first time we played Metal Gear Solid t through, I think we were were we in high school or I was in college, and I remember at some point playing the it game. It came when, out in '97, so I think I would have either been a senior in high school or in college. I think I was. In I think you were in college. I think we were both home. At the same time, but the parents were away, and there was a there was a weekend where we had uh, like a half gallon bottle of whiskey and a lot of coke, and the big screen TV downstairs to ourselves, which was such a big deal. I mean, it sounds in the nineties. It sounds pathetic, but we had a big TV. Yeah. We had the downstairs. We were playing like I remember. We were grown ass men now. The TV that we're watching here now in your place is larger than, yeah. than the, yeah. I know, I know, but but like I remember like 
being surprised that I was still coherent because it was like 4.30 in the morning and I'd been <laughs> well, drinking. Well, there were where we weren't. <laughs> well, yeah, we'd been drinking whiskey for like five hours playing Metal Gear and like just being blown away by how awesome. Because cause we, we've got to remember that we had uh, fond memories of Metal Gear for the NES as little, little bitty guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's a whole tangent. And Snake's Revenge. Less fond memories, but still some. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and uh, in 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 the, in the uh, Bobo just as a as a point of order, Bobo is is close to a teetotaler. You really don't drink at all anymore. And uh, it's not that I have any objection to it. It's just most of my circle of friends really don't. Yeah, but also I don't think you were feeling that good on one of those mornings after like six hours of drinking and playing Metal Gear either. But well, I mean, I mean, yes, I did have. A couple of occasions during my college years where I drank so much I got sick. Yeah, well, it's a, it's that's a, a normal, it's a shock, a normal thing. I know, yes. but for some reason I associate that with Metal Gear. Although I don't <laughs> think Metal Gear actually. Anyway, folks, let's actually stop talking about puke and start watching what I've already said is one of my favorite game endings ever. Now that I've talked about puke, and as I mentioned a few videos back, probably not realizing how many t- takes it was going to take to beat the boss. But yeah. I, I wanted to say it before we fought the boss, because I really like the, the cinema scene after you fight the boss. Dude, psyche! As crazy as that was, I like the whole thing where she asks you to kill her, and you yes. stand there and kill her. And But if you've never seen the ending of this game before, I just throw it out there as a possible thing you might want to consider watching it without us making jokes. And you might want to just say, forget it, I don't have time to watch this twice. Either way, we are going to make jokes. You've been warned. <laughs> We're going to make jokes and, and be silly as we watch my film. And, and we're going to save. Save, I guess. Yeah. Well, in case, of, imagine if this one video didn't take. I mean, I usually have a soft spot for sad endings, as you could tell from Final Fantasy X, but this, everything's looking pretty damn good. Goliath, extra 2,000. That's Power little, volume tuning and special. There's a Fallout vibe going here. Oh yeah, before the bombs fell. Oh, we changed out of his sorrow camo. Yeah, why not put something on more? So what are you going like, to do literally now? Comfortable. Go back to the KGB. Would what you like you to wear me? Did you ever think about coming back to America? Oh I yeah, I want to go to Queens and meet a queen. I left America behind me. But you well, saved yeah, this country. on the back of my outfit too. I didn't oh, wait, do it I, wait, are they in America now? I think they're in Alaska. Oh, yeah, you're right. They actually told us. <laughs> and I still owe you a dinner. Well, you fed me some frogs. Instant noodles. I don't know what the fuck was up with that snake. You fed me frogs while I was tranquilized. Is that part of your mission, too? It's or part of my missionary. Is it an order? I'd and like maybe to a eat. few other. I mean, uh-huh. is it an I mean, You're going to spill that wine if you're not careful. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Hmm. Or a proposal? Would you stop talking? <laughs> I don't take orders from anyone now. All right, well. Oh, wow. Uh, awful for the... The uh, stuff. So presumably, if they're in Alaska, presumably they've both been debriefed. I'm a little surprised they're chilling out, letting them chill out with the KGB agent here, but... So, Snake... It's time for you to see the remaining 10% of my breath you haven't seen yet. Oh man, CQC was never like this. Oh, counter. <laughs> Kick her twice while she's down, Snake. <laughs> this is Major Tom. I just want you to go ahead and use the CQC button. Like you've got, so, to, you've so, got to be kidding me! So please. you're wearing a thong, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she's wearing the white face pants. You know, I'm. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah. You know, damn it, Eva. If I'd answered that call, I might finally have found out what Major Tom's favorite animal is. <laughs> <laughs> it's the. It's a. It's a bulldog, obviously. I mean, British yeah. bulldog. <laughs> Oh, I'm having a horrible nightmare that I don't have straps on my shoulders. I... <laughs> you guys did, did you get a bed for this? Well, she did. Yeah. She just passed out. He got cigas uh, sprayed. Too much whiskey. 
too much baggage. Maybe he did get Sagas sprayed. Yeah. He doesn't seem to know where she is. She put something in the Scholars drink that you tell knocked us over. That the first spy in history was the snake in the book of Genesis. Scholars were making in that shit story, up then because it was he wasn't who a spy. was tempted by the snake in the Garden of Eden. But this time around, it was I who tempted the snake and got away with the forbidden fruit of knowledge. Ah, oh, boy. Oh, Forgive dear. me, snake. You didn't even keep the picture. Good. <laughs> Bye. It's one word. I know. I, I thought you were American, <laughs> not Japanese. Well, shit. Yeah. If you love somebody, let them go, Snake. Maybe she'll come back. With the Philosopher's Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> How did the new fangled technology work? You broke the new fangled tank snake. Ha ha ha! You <laughs> dumbass! <laughs> well, it, was, it is Paul Fez, you did. <laughs> First of all, I have to apologize. I broke your wiener. I cloned you and I sent you back down there. Oh. I'm not a KGB spy, and I never worked for the NSA. I'm just a I'm crazy ad blonde. General HQ, Second Department of the People's Liberation Army. No, I wouldn't have pegged her for Chinese. <laughs> I tricked you. Ha ha ha. And I'm sorry. He did say something about how she had some Chinese gunnery technique. Uh, she switched over to a Triumph. Which I think they must have paid some money to get in. They probably did. Yeah, because the other bike was a the philosophers still very exist in China too. clear model of a Russian see, bike, but didn't have my mission on was it, to so. find out where Volgan was the hiding. Philosophers the philosophers are Chinese too. For example, there is uh, you should say David all all wrong. Bad with four balls, no luck. Yeah, two yeah. NSA code breakers who defected in 1960. I'm wrong. Were actually both men. And they were pretty stupid too, and they weren't very good in the, the sack. The real Adam never showed up at the meeting place. Uh, uh, file that one away as a question mark. Of having to eliminate him. I Anytime to somebody just doesn't him show him. up and yeah. nobody asks about it, and apparently he was supposed Sokolov to meet a man named Volgan. Adam. You all believed me. Dumb man. The philosopher's legacy was originally held in common between the U.S., Soviet Union, and China. Of course, it was the Russian well, Empire and the Qing the Dynasty. Russians and the Americans take it all for themselves. The Chinese government had its eye on the legacy too. Narrow Asian And eventually, eyes. the Japanese made the I legacy. I got the film containing the Subaru. legacy, and also the nuclear missile launch data from the Shagohad. Basically, I win, you lose. Five years ago, the Soviet Union stopped supplying us with nuclear weapons technology. And Since by us, then, I mean China's beyond <laughs> easing hydrogen bomb and space rocket projects have fallen behind. But with this data, our country will be able to develop its own nukes. With this lipstick, I am champion. Current force to rival those of the U.S. and Soviet Union. Everything but it's only when we start plan, letting little bits of capitalism into our society, but we refuse to pay our workers a living wage, that we'll really begin to take I over the world. I'm one of the philosophers. <laughs> I'm an agent of the philosophers, a graduate. I'm a Cartesian. I was raised in a joint U.S.-Soviet-Chinese facility to become a sleeper agent. As uh, we slept together that night. Back then, they were collecting children from all over the world. Okay, so she's not result, supposed to be ethnically Chinese. From a native -born American. Which, I was so going to say that. She's a really good actor. Yeah. But, <clears throat> she knew right from the beginning. And of course, I'm she talking about Dame Edna. before the war, she was at one of the philosopher's schools, too, as an instructor. The boss was the only one I couldn't fool. She's, she's so much better than you, Snake. I was a fake. Fake, enormous. She told me everything. <laughs> Little man. <laughs> Why did she open her heart to me like that? Well, she showed me her scars. I couldn't understand it. But well, now, then I had the thing I that I dream I about now. Snake. I think she was working for the Chinese, too. She wanted you to know the truth. She chose me So to she figured out that Eva was a spy working for the Chinese, but she also she figured that... saved my life. Snake would never be able to figure it out, so I she might as well. So many times, but not this time. <clears throat> Help her. My orders from the government were to obtain the legacy. 
and to eliminate everyone who knew the truth about they what they were to obtain the regus. In other words, but I figured out what it meant. Oh, oh, well. Uh oh. Anyway, I'll be killing you later. <coughs> I mean, I'm a bitch, but I'm not that big of a bitch. And I'm a lover, and a child, and a mother. And not because I'm you saved my life. Although you did. But Couple because times. I made a promise to the boss. <laughs> but, I know he's an idiot, but after you fuck him and steal the legacy, don't kill him! <laughs> I just wanted you to know. And anyway, I'll be zipping up my jacket now. No, to. never mind. I don't, which is why I'm not bothering to wear a helmet or zip up my leathers. But if she dies, it'll be a time paradox. Stage, you have to understand. <laughs> Get her to use proper safety equipment. <laughs> Just live, Snake. I can't tell you how long you have until Fox dies, invented, and kills someone else using your code name. <laughs> but sounds live. just like you. Oh, I mean, yeah, no, it, it, it kind of does. Snake. Hey. Remember to what me. the girl said. She didn't <laughs> betray the United States. No. Far the from United it. States. Hey, she was a her. hero who died for her country. She didn't land on Plymouth she Rock. She carried out her mission knowing full well This what is kind of a new thing. They don't usually show the fact that you are a damn national hero at the end of any one of these games. Snake, are you a bad enough dude to meet the president? Yeah. We got CGI LBJ. <laughs> That is the nice thing about doing games in roughly this level of detail. You can make yeah, pretty convincing any that's figure CGI from all OBJ history. right there. You just, are above even. I'm just the fucking boss. thrilled to be here, sir. Can't you tell? I hereby award you the title of Big Boss. Kind of like when Muhammad Ali beat Joe Frazier and became <laughs> Big <laughs> Joe Frazier. <laughs> yeah. You are a true patriot. I'm actually not that Small hot on America. patriot. Don't get confused. I'm not that hot on America at the moment, sir, but... Can they shake hands where you come from, boy? Oh, Big Boss is just fucking thrilled. Yeah. You can tell he's loving every second of this. The way he closes his eyes and just desperately wants to leave his eye and... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sigint doesn't own a suit. They, I mean, rent a fucking suit, Sigint. Who let that dark in here? Look, just because I signed the Civil Rights Act to law, I don't know. I believe any of that <laughs> he shit. He still has a southern accent, damn it. I'm allowed to claim him to be racist. I don't know where that hand's been, buddy. <laughs> I know. We could use. Mr. Suba Yi, the catapult, a rudy sir. A man who combines the qualities of a soldier and an agent. A man who's agent. clearly desperate to defect against this country now. US government. It was all a big drama staged by Washington so they could get their hands on the By the way, my favorite legacy. dog animal is a bulldog. And the I, boss was hey. the star of the show. Well, we're going to get drinks later. They oh, planned I wanted it so to tell you about the woman, number of times I've apologized this year. And destroy the shadow hat at the same Whoa. time. Only a legendary All right, get these people out of my Morgan's trust. Job well. Finding out where the philosophy. So that makes sense. Only a hero like the boss could earn the Morgan's trust. Everything was going according to plan. Sure. So yeah, we've been talking over it, but they basically explained that the government that ordered no her to defend. fake defect. Colonel Volgan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. Which did strike me as being a pretty extreme move Chef to do for funsies. Provide proof that it wasn't involved. They couldn't just abort the operation to steal the legacy. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. Though regardless of whether this happened, she still in Washington broke your arm and threw you off a bridge to your they'd death. Have to get rid of the boss, and that one of their own would have to do the job. The public couldn't be allowed to find out about it, not ever. Well, things get this they concluded would be years. the best way to keep the whole thing under wraps. The boss wouldn't be allowed to come back home alive, and she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. 
This isn't a Japanese Her life would be ended by her most beloved disciple. But Sara was already dead. That was the way the government wanted it. They're jerks. That was the, the mission she was real big sucker for and she had no choice but to carry it out. She was a big soft. Her death her... at your hands was a duty she had to fulfill. Out of duty, she turned her back on her own comrades. She's basically way a better than you. Would have been crushed by such a burden. But she got that awesome sneaking The taint of disgrace will follow her to her grave. This is apparently, we'll how are you going to address the taint? Future generations will Please revile her. The tape, Hank. <laughs> In America, as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor. They bury traitors and with no Russia sense of honor at Arlington, don't they? A nuclear catastrophe. She will go down in official history as a war criminal. They bury lots of war criminals at Arlington. And no one will ever understand her. That. No one will understand her, but her was woman. Her final mission. She's a complicated woman. Complicated woman and no one and like a true man. soldier, right. she saw it through to the end. Like a no limit soldier. Hooty hoo. But I think she wanted you, of all people, to know the truth. You can't handle the truth, though, so. The truth would have been a good name she for a member of the Cobras. Hmm. In your memory. So she got herself close. Not as a soldier. Don't leave that there. But as a woman. <laughs> hey, Second Amendment rights, man. You can leave. Powerful but automatic weapons lying around anywhere. She was forbidden to tell you herself. You know, at some point she really could have said fuck it to some small me. aspect of her orders. Yeah. Snake. I remember Wait, she was said, born in 1920X. We'll never so, know what she did. She's Mega Man. <laughs> no one will ever. Couldn't just truth. come up with a number. Her story. Her debriefing. Will endure only in your heart. Debriefing is a cry line. <laughs> okay, you're laying it on the stick now. She did for her country. Well, her country kind of doesn't deserve her. Life and her honor for her native land. She was a real hero. With no name, apparently. Yeah. She was a true I, 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 patriot. I kind of feel like somebody <laughs> would notice among the various yeah. graves in the cemetery. One that was carved out that said a true patriot who saved the He's world. He's crying! I don't think I even knew that in the PS2 version. I don't think the graphics were crisp enough. Anyway, Khrushchev, Ground of Power, Brezhnev, chilling out. Yeah, China concludes its first successful nuclear test, and it's all thanks to Eva. Sigan joins ARPA, the predecessor of DARPA. ARPANET, which will go online in 69, will eventually become the Internet. Probably. Probably. System. Eva disappears without a trace. Paramedic does stuff. Major Zero disbands Fox because it's just no fun without Big Boss. It's just no good <laughs> anymore. The U.S. branch philosophers changed its names to Patriots. That's great. Big Boss establishes Foxhound. Yeah, Major Zero establishes Foxhound. What else happens to Big Boss? <laughs> well, surely something. I mean, he couldn't. That, something that could. might happen to his DNA. <laughs> Mr. President. Oh, that's what the... Yeah. That's who he was. Yeah. He's the one who couldn't experience uh, pleasure with a woman. No, I'm thinking of Gray Fox. And Snake. And Big Boss. All of them, really. Yeah, not them, really. I mean, they all had... Yeah, no, I guess... I don't... I, I know that it's in the ending where it's the first time he gets referred to as Big Boss, and that was his name, like, deemed to him. I don't know whether or not it was like something I'd read or just that I like dialed back the ages in my mind and realized, oh yeah, the guy who saw the snake in this is gonna be big boss. Like I, I felt like going in, I was aware that I think I figured I mean I, I do not when I when I read books, when I watch movies well when I read books it's a little different. When I'm watching yeah. movies and T V shows, I will very rarely try to hey, I will very rarely try to figure out where the story's going ahead of it telling me. I know people who, like, that's their whole deal when they watch yeah. movies. They, they want to they like, figure it out before it happens and then be right. Pepper okay. Zero and Magical Tom? <laughs> Fake Norman? <laughs> but, uh, no, I never do that. But in this game, I think right around the time you first fight Ocelot, I was like, oh, yeah, of course, he's, got, he's big boss. Duh. Yeah. Like, but I wasn't trying to figure it out. And then, like... When the eye got cut out and stuff, 
Yeah. yeah. I don't... Yeah. So, like, I don't know whether or not it's just something that, like... A, like I like the fact that they don't straight out tell you, although yeah. they obviously... If you're doing all the clear enough, if you're doing all the codec optional codec calls, and paramedic starts talking to you about cloning and stuff, then yes, you'll figure it out. Anyway, uh, there were two. Uh, I just want to bring this in before I forget. There was yep. uh, a little RV. You get snakes first person. Uh, I guess you could call them big boss. I'm oh, trying way, really hard not to call them big boss this whole time, but soulful, uh, you know, howling. Uh, mm -hmm. Going on. Just, just, just noting it's like yeah. this. This might be really moving, but eh. <laughs> but the the uh, first person uh, view of Big Boss while he's shaking hands with the president, and then you have you can switch the cameras around and move the camera view, and it's actually possible to um, to look off to the left and as a little like Easter egg comic relief goofy thing. Uh, Revolver Ocelot is looking into the Oval Office from outside through the window, and he does the hand gesture, you're pretty good at you, yeah, like, you know, like, thumbs up, <laughs> dude, while you're getting your medal. Yeah. Um, which is kind of like, you know, it's kind of funny, especially if you've played through the game before, but like, your, your first time through, there's this moment where you're, you're basically seeing the moment where Big Boss turns against America on the inside because yeah. I mean we remember what happens to Big Boss he yeah. eventually you know he he stays within the government but he's working to create his own yeah. he know. creates his own secret he unit turns on this whole thing a little bit he's, he's not he's not a no limit soldier just following orders without thinking for himself after this point but if that's the big moment where it all changes and it's his heart is truly broken in the background. Revolver Ocelot's like, thumbs up, buddy. Like, <laughs> he wouldn't want to see like, that the first time. <laughs> That's right. I know, you're going to turn. It's going to be sweet. There was also um, the, like all of the Metal Gear Solid oh, yeah. games, they tried to sell this one twice, but they had a second edition come out with extra content. It included, and, and people can check these out on the YouTube. Uh, because they're not in the HD edition, we couldn't show them if we wanted to, but there's a couple of, I think they were called Metal Gear Stupid, that was like the name of these videos, there's a couple of them. It's called Metal Gear Stupid, one of them is called like Metal Gear 3 Raiden or something, and it's this like goofy little comic relief thing where Raiden decides he wants to be the real star of the Metal Gear series, so he gets a time machine and tries to go back in time to kill Big Boss, and it's like, ah. But there's a really really funny one. It just kills me every time. Do you remember how the dude um, tries to shake hands with him after the president does, and he just doesn't even acknowledge him and walks by? Yeah. And the guy just kind of, there's this look close to him, and he goes like, Arr. he just kind of grumbles. And this other guy's like, hey, listen, we should form a unit uh, in case the fans haven't figured out what's going on yet, yeah. this guy should be the head of a unit later that will eventually betray America and Solid Snake and kill Big Boss and blah blah blah. They have one where that exact same thing plays out, but instead of the guy who wants to shake his hand is growling, and then instead of being interrupted and having this other guy talk, it just zooms in on his eyes and kind of shakes around and gets really tense. And uh, and then we have this sequence where they replace they they replay that sequence from early in the game where uh, uh, Snake finds the boss out in the woods and she beats the shit out of him. And, but they replace the boss's face with that guy's face. He tracks down Snake and beats the shit out of him. <laughs> Sorry, like while they were going by, they did show a giant triumph of Calorie yeah. Mate Lois. So I guess they all got whatever their thing is. And, but like also. Apparently there was like a little like they got special permission to use the font Helvetica. I know. I yeah. mean, it is a copyrighted thing and it's a set of characters, but it was, like they apparently specifically wanted that type. Of it. So it's in the hey, credits it's here. The, uh, it's the soft jazz. It's, it's yeah. kind of. I will take this any day over the like soft tingly version of the Bionic Commando theme. Oh sure. And I will say, and I think it already went by. Might have been called Wayne Ball, I'm not really sure. But like the, the the song that they were playing, like when the first credits went through, and the guys like, ah, I think kind of like that. I kind of enjoyed that song, but yeah. Uh, 
Maybe I can look without. it up again someday. Thank you. Check it out without the talking. I think it was the first, uh... I, it sounded like the vocalist might have been African American, which is nice because the, uh... I don't think they'd really used uh, an African American vocalist in any of the games. Sigan being the first fairly prominent African American character in the whole series. Which bugs me only because freaking Raiden is this African child soldier. But, oh, he's an albino, so he can look like yeah. a blonde white guy. But we can talk about Africa. I wonder if anything's going to happen now. In Africa. I wonder if it's over or... It probably is. Yes, Grozny Grad and the Granin Research Facility have both been wiped out without a trace. Hmm. I don't remember that. I understand, sir, but they were necessary sacrifices. Yes, the CIA has taken care of the boss themselves. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad that happened. I believe yeah. the White House will be satisfied. You think so? Well, that's good. The White House is difficult to satisfy Khrushchev sometimes. is finished. Oh. Your time okay. has finally arrived. Well, I guess, you know, at the very least, uh, that's good. I have a theme Yes, for it, the American president is relying on us to keep a lid on the whole affair. That's We've got him by the movie. balls. Ooh, balls. It should make a valuable trump card in future negotiations. Well, who, am, who, who are you talking to, dude? Would you please use my title so the fans can... Yes, Chief stuff. Director, of course. I'll keep the KGB informed. He was working for the KGB all along. But now he's... <laughs> dialing somebody else on his rotary phone. That's what they had. Are you telling me that Ocelot was some kind of triple agent? That doesn't sound like the Ocelot I know. Yes, it's me. Hey, you wanna hang out? The boss has accomplished her mission. She died really good. Yeah, well, that's good. The Philosopher's legacy is now safely with us. In America's oh, hands. Oh, hey, what, what? You mean... Hold on. With this money, yes, the philosophers can finally be revived. We'll have to oh, we've got them in tubes? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, The Master film we P. handed the Chinese was a fake. Uh-huh. Was it an artist? <laughs> Peking must be in an uproar right about now. So Eva broke Big Boss's heart for no reason. I'm afraid so. Only half That's... the money has made it back to the United States. The KGB must still have part of the legacy. Jerks. Great, so we're gonna have an escalated yes, war with Yes, the that. weapon has been reduced to ashes. That was underwater, wasn't it? That's right. Grozny Grad has been obliterated by the Davy Crockett we brought in as well. Oh. Uh, he killed a lot. Yes, that the was the boss's work too. Snake really didn't accomplish anything, Speaking sir. of which, I've obtained something from Granin that you might find interesting. Really it's good a revolutionary to, uh, new nuclear attack system. Throw people in the Perhaps it might just come in handy someday. No, that was a again. Yeah, it's... Metal Gear. Yes, we have John, I mean Snake, to thank for that. I mean Jack, Cruise I Jack mean, believed it as well. Big Boss, I mean... Fuck. <laughs> yes, they bought our story. I don't think they'll be making a fuss. We were saying film rights. <laughs> the secondary alert has been lifted as well. So now they're just under And caution. the Soviets still haven't discovered my true identity. Those guys are so they stupid. They have no idea that I've been triple crossing them. And now I'm quadruple crossing you, sir. I will continue my activities as a contact for the new government. Oh no, he's working for uh, Outer Heaven or. <clears throat> yes. It appears that no one knew that I was Adam. Ooh. Oh, what? What? I don't know why I didn't show of up course. for that meeting like I was supposed to. I'm always at the CIA's disposal. Mr. You know. Director. Holy shit, way less shocking than the first game, sorry! <laughs> yeah, you can't play that card too many times, Kojima. That just was not as shocking as the first game. Special item not your used. Your title is Tsuchinoko. So Which I think you get for getting the for having Tsuchinoko out. out. Tsuchinoko. Uh, 35 is, There's nothing else that happens with it, though? No, there's something else that happens with it. Oh. Um... So we saved a bunch, we continued a lot, we yeah. killed 168 people. <laughs> oh. We're talking about minimizing kills. We were seriously kills. injured, <laughs> we ourselves were seriously injured 186 times. <laughs> we lost a total of 50 life bars. Life medicine used, 5. Used against the boss, 5. five yeah. <laughs> um, 39 kinds of pants and animals, 825 meals, we didn't use a special item. We didn't have any. Yeah. 
You are the most Single, Single action armor. Action so we'll army. start the next game with one of those. From the Patriot. The Patriot. Like you could do a wheel. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How in the world did Colt Single Action Army came up and you did a revolver ocelot voice, but then the word Patriot comes up and you suddenly don't do an ocelot voice? <laughs> you got Patriot. <laughs> you got a camera. You got green you got face paint. Green face paint. You can use it in Metal Gear Solid. 3. You can use it in MGS3. What a, and I can use the Patriot in like Rumble Roses? I don't understand. <laughs> You got the brown face paint. You, you can't can't really, use it. It could really upset Sand. <laughs> you can't use that anywhere, though. <laughs> you got infinity face paint. Face that's what You'll you, never run out. That's what you get for getting the, the Tsuchinoko out. And that means like it's obviously not very good camo, but while you have it equipped, all of your weapons have been banana. Oh. So that's what you get instead of... You got national flags face paint. <laughs> I don't so remember... Like, Oh, is it just that you can select any national flag? Yeah, I think so. You, you got, got a tuxedo. tuxedo. You got DPN can camo. You got Oscam desert pattern camo. What the? Okay, you got unlocked downloaded camo. Oh, this is a bunch of weird shit that you could get uh, through their line. Uh, yeah, they had an online component to the game, so I guess in this HD edition they're making it available. Desert Tiger. Flex Flex Man, that was a lot of crap. I... We'll save because what I want to do, if you don't, if you guys don't mind, we'll end up making an extra long video. I mean, we could make a sec a video all of its own for this, but I wanted to start a new game plus just just. To oh, we still have something special to do with the Suchinoko. We're gonna get somebody's gonna say like, "Hey, it's a Suchinoko. Way to go, buddy." No, I mean that you get the infinity face paint for getting it. There's oh. no. That's okay. I mean, that's why, like, that, that's why Major Zero and and Paramedic and Sigint couldn't believe you walked out at the end without saying anything. Yeah. Because they were convinced you guys were all gonna go grill at Suchinoko together. Yeah. I thought that I thought we were gonna hang out. And but talk I just want to quick, Suchinoko fast, are. in a hurry. Yeah. Uh, Do as you like, man. Jump in and start a new game plus because I want to get the boss on the codec. Although I guess you gotta clear a screen or two before she shows up. A, we can apologize for killing her. B, be like, hey, check out this gun I got. You can ask, you can ask Sigan about your gun. Hey, check out this uh, Patriot. It's pretty nice, right? Well, the Patriot, yeah. No, Sigan doesn't show up until uh, Operation Snake here. Oh, right. I don't want to go through all of Virtuous Mission just to play but, around uh, with that. Yeah. But I do want to put on the tuxedo and call the boss. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because the boss comments on your camouflage and stuff. After when, the end of uh, World War II, you're playing, uh, the world the was split mission. into two, yeah, okay. east and west. Let me skip past this marked the it. beginning of the oh, era called can't the Cold hit the start War. Start to get by. Not this part, but I might be able to in a minute. And it's not going to ask me, do you like Metal Gear Solid One, Metal Gear Solid Two, Metal Gear Solid Three? So it won't be able to showcase the. Oh, they're kind of fun thing that happens when you pop out with a like PS1 era digitized face. Do you copy? You're already an enemy. Action button, baby. By the way, you can only find out full frames of information about me right now. You're never going to know what my favorite animal is, you bastard. <laughs> yeah, you you have to climb up a tree and get your gear or something. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to find the tree. Um, <sighs> try rotating around to, with the camera. Well, you know, that works. It doesn't give you these weird limited controls. That was so pissing me off. I apologize. I, I know. I can, I can tell you are getting a little testy. No. Damn it all, Chiaotzu. Well, it's kind of like, we don't need any extra difficulty here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, if you use that, then there you go. Uh, yes, what is it? <laughs> you, you I see something. you've retrieved. Good for you. So, so basically the thing is, is that, 
Oh, the boss is back. Oh, yeah, three. <laughs> I didn't realize it was this thing. We, I kind of wouldn't have skipped this. There's an awful lot of stuff here that, like, you know, once you've played the whole game, you're like, wow, this conversation between them when he doesn't know that she's a traitor yet it could be kind of telling. Yeah. But uh, You're ready to die for your country? Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Oh, I remember when you said that in the future when I was fighting uh, Ocelot. Well, most of this game's adventures happen in the future. Hey, look, <laughs> I've already got Silencer. That's cool. Commencing virtuous mission now. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC as you stand by yourself holding a gun. <laughs> Alright, so, uh... Camo. You can put on... Oh, okay. Oh, you, you don't have, like, every country ever. Although apparently uh, Italian uh, face paint with infinite power. <laughs> apparently Italian face paint is actually uh, better than the other nations. It is uh, superior. <laughs> yeah. <It's... laughs> I'm the most retarded warrior in the history of the world. Well, I mean, try putting the Soviet Union, uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, you got uh, East Germany. Oh, I guess that's not actually East Germany, it's just... I don't really understand what's going on with that, but... Oh, and you get the... This is the one that you get for beating the boss. I don't really remember what it does. It, I mean, it, it gives you pretty good camo everywhere, but... Yeah. Movie fly pattern. Uh, you can't wear face paint. With oh man, I want to go around with an <laughs> Italian flag mask on. I can tell you from experience, though, trying to wear a tuxedo shirt while your face is painted up is a recipe for getting makeup on your collar. Uh, okay, well, I'm sure there's a story behind that. Yeah, it's let's talk about it. More fun than that, though. Camouflage is an indispensable tool when you're sneaking through the jungle. Take it out of the fucking to use yeah. camouflage. First, press the start button. Okay. Do it. Visibility is poor in the jungle, so you'll be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna skip all. I probably should do. You this can only use so. CQ. Snake. What's up, boss? Don't you what's up me. Just what do you think you're doing? What do you mean? What do I mean? What is that camouflage you're wearing? Oh, this. What do you think? Of all the... Looks pretty good on me, doesn't it? Are you out of your mind? You can't wear that in battle. It's like saying to the enemy, Hey, here I am. Shoot me. Well, I'll it's admit it is on the flashy side. Then why don't you... But it does look good on me, doesn't it? You don't think so? Listen, wise ass. Camouflage isn't going to do jack if it doesn't help you blend in with well, your surroundings. Well, will do something. It'll get me killed. Well, I think it looks good on me. Fine. Wear whatever you want. Thought you'd like it. <laughs> look, if you can be... I'm just, I'm just look, trying to impress you. If, if oh. you can defeat me at the end of a New Game Plus run wearing the tuxedo, I admit... It'll make for an awesome final cinematic <laughs> sequence, but I still don't approve. <sighs> so I don't think she responds to any of the other camo patterns, because that's like a little special fun Easter egg, but you're not really meant to have uh, yeah. this kind of stuff. Like, a, hey boss, what do you think of this camo pattern? I got it for defeating you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where did you get that? That's my own private stash of camos. Oh, okay. See, this would be really good against... Oh, yeah. Man. In that battle, <laughs> like I don't think she'll comment on this, even though she really, she <laughs> really put on, should. Yeah, but now put on the Soviet Union face, then you'll be super Russian patriotic in the face. <laughs> in the face, <laughs> you'll be super Russian patriotic in the face. <laughs> in your face, in the face, face. Nikolai Volkov's official camo pattern. Normally, you would ask a fellow soldier how well your camouflage is working. And if they go, but who said that? Then you know it's working great. So nobody out there is on your side. You have to determine how well your camouflage is working by... 
Like eating the camo index, which doesn't make any in sense. In my but... day, I did my share of sneaking into enemy territory. Well, that was your age, young man. Since World War II. Yeah. Mostly snatch missions. Oh, come snatch on, mission. boss. That's nasty. That's where you abduct an enemy officer without killing him, right? Speaking right. of, did I tell That's you about the time I gave birth to a child the day after, like, I landed in Normandy? In a snatch mission, yeah, it's pretty taking messed out up, the target's sorry, escorts dude. by shooting them is not an option. If the oh, enemy hears like the gunshot, they'll know there's an intruder <laughs> and take <laughs> You know, if I have a classy dinner. I like to, I like to, to make things nice. Yeah, yeah you know, know I'll take out the guards yeah. and secure the target without making Don't want it to feel like a whore just because she's a whore, you know what I mean? All right. So wait, <laughs> <Are> that's <laughs> really, final really thoughts enough. on the game. Really <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah um, we like we don't just whirl this out on the <laughs> the concept of. So you guys, as hope as you enjoy. I hope you enjoy this LP of what I consider to be one of the <laughs> finest stories ever told in the video game. And remember, just because she's a whore it doesn't mean you gotta treat it like a whore. <laughs> uh, final thoughts. I mean, we kind of covered a lot of stuff in the credits. Um, yeah, I like. I mean, it's one of my favorite stories. It's it's actually just, you know, I had, it has this hugely melodramatic twist where you find out, like, of all the Metal Gear games, it's probably the biggest, like, case of a fuck you from the people that you thought you were working for ever. Yeah. But because it doesn't come until the very end, and the villain you're fighting against is obviously just a really bad guy, it's actually up until that point the most straightforward yeah, it's like story oh, in the whole series. I totally like no, I totally believe. Yeah, what we're doing is the right thing. The only thing that we don't understand is why the boss is doing what she's doing. I'm gonna go have to go back and watch this video again to try and get a better idea of of what she's doing. But basically, <laughs> yeah, I no, got we, the we, idea we that she was over sent out. It. That she, I mean, yes, yeah, so we talked over sent a lot out of it. She was together. she was ordered to fake a defection to be a double agent to go and work with Volgan. Because Volgan is the one who actually had the information on the legacy. Yeah. He was waving around talking about it. You remember there was a scene where he asked her to hold it for him. And then as she came over and put her yeah. hand out, he like pulled like, it oh, away. And then like paused. And was like, no. Okay. This was, wait, this was my idea. <laughs> she didn't ask. And gives it to her. But yeah, that was her mission was to get the legacy. Was to retrieve the legacy. And but that then, was her original mission. And yes. then, and, which included, and this is what I thought was kind of fucked up. When she breaks your arm and throws you off a bridge <laughs> bless you. Thank you. at the beginning of the game, yes. this is uh, this is part of like the original mission brief. This is before, because the big changing point is, um, and you saw, and it, it, in retrospect, 2020 hindsight, Ocelot also freaks out when Bulgan shoots the, the missile and blows up the base where Sokolov has been at. Yeah. He's blowing up a base on Russian territory with a U.S. made rocket, mm -hmm. and neither the boss nor Adam, um, Adam Mansk, whatever his name is, yeah. Oslo, they didn't know he was going to do that. So that was the big turning point. They changed her mission orders. Yes. And I'm thinking Ocelot was probably the one relaying her orders to her. But they changed her orders at that point to okay, now you are going to have to die so that the U.S. government can. It kind of makes sense and kind of doesn't, like, you know... Yeah, basically... Like, like you, you're going to have to like, die oh. so that the U.S. government can deny all knowledge of what happened, and, can, and you're going to be the scapegoat. Uh, but at the same time, it's like... What, you sent her in there in the first place. Uh, yeah. It, it makes sense if you don't think about it too much. Yes. But yeah, basically, she has to she has to die because she's a scapegoat for... Because the, the original plan didn't go that hot. Yeah. But the original plan was to go in and steal the legacy for the Americans. Yeah, and I will admit, going through this game, um, you know, you, you were saying earlier, I you try not to like second guess what the game is going to do ahead of what it is, and yeah, so that actually like in, in terms of me watching it, I was guess I was doing the same thing, or I wasn't thinking too hard about trying to second guess it, but like yeah, like the whole like oh Eva's actually working for the Chinese, I was like I didn't remember that, even though I've seen the ending, like oh. Yeah, okay, that, that, that's the, cool. the insect noise is killing me. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, no, uh, keep, you can keep talking if that's fine. It's the... Yeah, no, I... You're um, done? All right. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like there was something else that I meant to say about the game and how I always I thought it was it, weird but... that Eva was working for the Chinese, uh, only if it was implied that she was Chinese. Like, I found myself wondering, okay, in the history, like... The Chinese are not known for having been able to get a lot of non-Chinese people to work for them in these these matters. Like, there's mm -hmm. a lot of famous examples of people 
defecting one way or the other, but I'm not aware of that many examples of people. I think the Chinese did the whole honeypot thing where they would like they would uh get somebody in a compromising position through the use of attractive female agents and then blackmail them and stuff. Yeah. The Russians always did that too. Americans probably done that as well. But no, the idea that like she was this like super spy, obviously super dedicated and professional and poised and trained and it's like, but why are you helping the PRC? I mean they're not Yeah. Well, I guess what the thing was is that she was... Even if you're like a big booster of communism, normally that yeah. means you end up defecting to the Soviets. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess the thing is, like, I don't know. Like, did she not have any particular national association because she was brought up by the philosophers? Or... That was the thing. Is like, there's the We don't know all that much about the super top secret philosopher schools that they yeah. were at. Well, but, like, the it idea was, it was, they said it was a joint facility run by the Chinese, Russians, and the Americans. So, like, so why at the end of it does she come out helping the Chinese? It may be that she's trying to maintain the balance of power between the three or something. I don't know. But basically, the idea was, it was, it was a perfectly plausible that, that Eva was, a, you know, going to, like, betray and was, like, you know, yeah. had her own agenda and all that. But yeah, you sort of, you, like, you, you it sort made of think. When it that. happened, you were like, oh, yeah, okay, well, shit. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose you probably should have been on guard a little bit more. But then the idea that it was the Chinese was like, the Chinese? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's on Chinese, that count. I don't know. But uh, yeah. No, I mean, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the game. Like I said, like this is one that I feel like if I played it more... Oh yeah, I suppose we should talk about what we're going to do next. We'll actually have to talk about what we're going to do next, because well, I guess chronologically in terms of release, the, the next, next game one that is... came out would have been 4. Would, well, it would have been four. Four came out before came Peace out Walker. Before Peace Walker. Yeah. Okay. And that would actually keep us on a correct alternating path because we'd have to play the, for, we'd have to play yes. four at your place on yes. your system. I was gonna yeah just right. just in terms of logistics explanation for you you, you folks at home. Jake, yeah, he's well, got a 360 and I've got a PS3. Which I have to remind myself that people don't know that because people keep asking me when are you going to LP and then they'll give me a PS3 exclusive like they because I play the Kawhi games. So like when are you go when are you going to play Dynasty Warrior 7 Empires. I'm like, I'm not buying a PS3 yeah, so I can not play that game. For that. <laughs> like, I, there's, there's just enough 360 exclusive titles, some of which you slash I already own because I used to get titles to review for a brief period mm -hmm. while you were in Afghanistan that I'd be interested in playing and potentially LPing that I might, depending on how cheap 360s get after, like, Xbox Ones have been out for, like, a year or so. I don't know. But, uh, I'll yeah. tell you this, though. Um, there are definitely, uh, like, we played through Metal Gear Solid 4, and I think I understood the story a little bit better than you did. Because some of it is references to Metal Stuff Gear Solid this, 3. Yeah. Like they're um like basically Metal Gear Solid 4 I don't I guess they Metal weren't. Metal Gear Solid 4 was at the time it was intended to actually to close the everything up. Thing. So naturally pretty it much rolled up every, shit from all of the games. Yeah, yeah. The majority of characters that they could bring back in some form or another probably at least get referenced or make some kind of it's like, you know, Probably what the Star Wars sequels are going to be. They're like all going to make some reference to, oh, yeah, Qui Gon existed many years ago. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah you know, whatever stuff. <laughs> but uh, uh, but the uh, Peace Peace Walker, I'm looking forward to because it's the only one I haven't played. It, yeah, four honestly is the one I was looking forward to the least because even though I only got to play through it once, uh, and I am kind of looking forward to playing it again. Um, <laughs> it's just so many cinemas for every minute of gameplay. And yeah, well, it was, was, you know, it was a difficult one. We'll go to through it. Of, yeah. we'll, we'll certainly go through it. Um, Peace but Walker, yeah, look, I'm looking forward look to because I have to that. I guess yep. the, the the to to let you guys know in case you haven't gotten the rhythm of this already. The next one will be over on on Bobo Bobo's the Vulture channel. Um, it'll be both of us doing the same thing, except I'll probably say my name first in those videos. Yeah, that's usually how it works. Yeah. And I may, I'm probably will even make. I might even make a playlist on my channel. Yeah. Although I don't think I did that for the last one. I did that for like before. Army of Two and the Warriors, yeah. but not. But well, anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, but no, I, we, I think we have to play four next uh, because Peace Walker may have some references to. And it'll be in the same sneaky way this one does, where the characters don't know what's going to happen in the future, but they'll say things that, in light of the events of Metal Gear Solid 4, things yeah. they are saying in Peace Walker take on a whole new meaning. Yeah. That you might see some of that. You're not going to see spoilers for Peace Walker and Metal Gear Solid 4. You might see spoilers, in indirect spoilers for 4, playing Peace Walker. I don't know. 
But either but way, Peace Walker. Peace Walker is about the further adventures of Big Boss. Yeah. There is a game called Portable Ops, which is, uh, I believe, it's considered part of the canon. Yeah. And it's it takes place shortly after this and before Peace Walker. But so, was but it a PSP exclusive or did it eventually get like, ported somewhere? I think it's a PSP. It didn't come out in the HD edition. Kojima apparently doesn't like it, but does consider it part of the canon story. Hmm. So the problem with that is I don't know a way for us to play it. It's apparently not as good a game as it's it's well below average gameplay wise and story wise, but it does count as something that happens. So sadly, we're gonna be missing a little piece of the big boss story. The last thing I thought of we danced around a lot with not spoiling stuff sometimes i hinted strongly at stuff that like you know people who already know will be like haha jg is making a joke about such and such but the biggest mind fuck in this game honestly eva i guess eva counts okay maybe i'm now i don't think about maybe i'm totally wrong because the boss is part of your codec team at the very beginning of the game and she betrays you but it's so early yeah she spends the vast majority of the game as as the opposition that you don't think of it the same way that you think of master miller turns out to be like yeah it's like hey i go to be your yeah so and i guess eva betrays you at the end but i never thought of her even though you can call her on codec i never thought of her as being part of your codec team like yeah. she, the you know Meryl, you can reach by Kodak, but she's not part of your Kodak team in the same way as like well, Nastasha I mean, and the Colonel. The other distinction on. too between uh, mm-hmm. like the Master Miller betrayal and the Eva betrayal is that the Eva betrayal happens after the game. You don't fight a person who yeah you, you thought was your friend and actually turned out to be the right, right. the whole time. But what I'm getting at here is that. And this is such a rare and strange thing. We we now double the length of the video, but sure. this is so weird. Your Kodak team, your core Kodak team, that, that I think of as your core Kodak <laughs> team. Also, everyone's still looking of, at Soviet Snake. He's Soviet Snake. <laughs> but your core main Kodak team of um, of Major Zero, mm. Paramedic, and Sigint are right there at the ending scene. They're disappointed to see that Snake is so hurt, and you get the feeling that they want to reach out to him and help him. They appear in portable ops, and they're still on his side. They're still helping him. They're still friends. They don't betray him. His, his, this is the only game where your Kodak team is actually true, blue, faithful, and trustworthy. Yeah. So that's... <laughs> there you go, folks. How often do you see that in the Metal Gear game? His, the major right. no because I because I was I was going through them in my head it's like okay so so in the first so in Metal Gear One Big Boss um, Snake's Revenge John Turner yes. and that's not in canon um, in Metal Gear Solid Two Solid Snake it's Gray Fox yeah although and, and, and I guess he's not really part of your Kodak team is he was he talk- yeah you're right you're right he was uh yeah. wasn't he yeah he was helping us out and then he fucking attacks you with Metal Gear yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so you got Gray Fox. In Metal Gear Solid, of course, you've got the whole Master Miller bit. Master Miller, classic. And there's a ton of, uh, although in the end, he really comes out on the right side of things in the end. There's a ton of, you know, Colonel, do you you know more about what's going on? How could I forget Naomi? She fucking gives you fox die. She (laughs) kills you. It it hasn't taken full effect yet (laughs) when the game ends. But no, you one of your codex. She sentences you to death. (laughs) Yes. And then you've got, um, is there any betrayal that happens in uh, Sons of Liberty? Well, I can't remember <laughs> anyone who doesn't that, betray yeah, you in Sons of Liberty. that happens that game that isn't a betrayal? <laughs> oh, you I mean, even what did you do with my blood? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but this game, I just, I just want to... Your blood will be returned to you and you complete this mission. <laughs> Okay, well that's that's completely unnecessary. <laughs> so I'm just throwing it out there to the Metal Gear fans. I just, if you had your choice, who are the most trustworthy codec team you could ever have? Sigint, Paramedic, and Major Zero. They are people you could count on. Damn it, because we just haven't seen that before. And that's it. Anyway, I'm a serious JG. I'm Bobo the Vulture. We'd like to thank you guys very much for watching our favorite Metal Gear game. Please tune in now for following Metal Gear games, which are obviously not as good. <laughs> we're we're going to do Metal Gear 5 when it comes out. Event. I've got a, I've got Ground Zeroes for the Xbox. I haven't played it yet. But, uh, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll be fiddling around with all that stuff in the fullness of time. There so we'll go. see you for future Metal Gear adventures. Bye now.